Welcome back everyone. Today, let's journey back to the very dawn of the age of mammals, to the quiet needle carpeted forests of Paleocene, Montana. Just after the dinosaurs vanished, high up in the branches of ancient pines, a tiny creature flickers through the shadows. Meet Purgatorius, a small, squirrel-like animal that holds a huge secret. It's one of the earliest known ancestors on the primate family tree. Now, Purgatorius wasn't a showstopper. It didn't have the brute force of the survivors wrestling with a changed world below. Instead, its genius was in going small and going up. Imagine this, grasping hands, with nails just beginning to replace claws and giving it a secure grip on branches. Its ankle joints were incredibly flexible, rotating to let it climb with confidence. Whether it was moving up, down, or sideways, this little trailblazer was a master of the forest canopy. Its personal, three-dimensional highway, its teeth tell us it was a true opportunist, a generalist in a world of new possibilities. They were perfectly shaped to handle a mixed diet of fruit, insects and maybe even the first flowers of this new era, while other animals struggled. Purgatorius had a full menu to choose from. Think of it like a city commuter, sipping through alleys and shortcuts. It navigated between fruiting shrubs and patches of insects, finding food where larger creatures couldn't. Its eyes were starting to shift forward, giving it better depth perception a crucial skill for leaping between branches. The snout was still a bit long, a reminder of its more ancient insect-eating relatives but its brain was already showing signs of being a little larger than you'd expect for its size. This was the beginning of the primate trend towards bigger, more complex brains. Living this high up life, especially at night when predators were still figuring things out, was the key to its success. The pine forests offered warmth and safety that the open ground simply couldn't provide. The fossil evidence for Purgatorius, mostly tiny teeth and jaw fragments found in ancient streams, whispers the story of its adaptability. The cusps on its molars are a testament to its flexible diet, which was the ultimate superpower that allowed its descendants, the primates, to eventually spread across the globe. They're the small, adaptable explorers who find opportunity in the overlooked spaces. When you see a modern mouse lemur or a tarsier darting through the foliage today, you're watching a ghost of this ancient blueprint, a strategy replayed under different stars, Purgatorius shows us that from the smallest beginnings, the most incredible evolutionary stories can unfold. Thanks for exploring the roots of our family tree with me today. If you enjoyed this journey back in time, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more adventures, and let me know in the comments what ancient creature you want to see next.